folks, on today's episode of Airgun Reporter, I'm going to check out the C96 pistol, better known as the Mauser, another BB repeating replica from the Legend series by Umrex USA. The original variant of the Mauser used a 10 round stripper clip that was inserted into the breech and held by the internal box magazine. This one is actually closer to a variant of the C96, which was the M712 Schnellfeuer, which means rapid fire in German. Because it used a drop-free magazine and had a fire selection switch on the left side for single shot and rapid fire. But the very coolest part about the Mauser is that it was used as the base by prop builders to make Han Solo's blaster from Star Wars. That's right, with a little bit of ingenuity, some model work, you can have your very own movie prop. Hope you enjoy the show. It's been a rough winter here in western New York State, and the temperature this morning was minus 7 degrees. I warmed up the air lodge to about 76 degrees, which is a good average temperature for testing CO2 action pistols. Loading the C96 involves a few steps, the first of which is releasing the magazine and removing the cover. Pull the follower down until it engages the catch and drop in 19 BBs. The advertised velocity of the C96 is 380 FPS, and in my crony test, it was right on with an average of 397 feet per second using Umarex steel BBs. This was my first time shooting the C96, and I was surprised at how much fun it was. The blowback action was crisp and had a nice snap to it. The rear sight on the C96 has an adjustable ratchet mechanism made from metal and is number indexed for visual reference. Bag rested at 20 feet, my 19 round group was surprisingly small, much better than I was expecting. Offhand shooting accuracy was very good as well, with that broom handle pistol grip and box magazine providing a stable hold. The C96 is definitely a nice little shooter. The C96 has a single action trigger and along with the hammer and safety lever is made from die cast metal. The spring loaded pull is super smooth with no mechanical grinding and breaks cleanly just when you expect it to. In my test I got an average of exactly 5 pounds. The C96 is indoor and backyard friendly at 89.9 decibels, and it's also economical giving you about 120 shots per CO2 cartridge.
folks, the Legends C96 pistol is surprisingly accurate on targets out to 20 feet, and the blowback action makes semi-automatic shooting lots of fun. Visually, it's a close replica of the M712 Mauser broomhandle variant. In my test, I got just about 120 shots on a CO2 cartridge. Pretty good for a blowback replica. I was disappointed in the plastic frame, having hoped for a full die-cast construction similar to the Legends P08 Luger. If you're a fan of historical sidearms, the C96 is worthy of your collection. A conversation piece with a worldwide service history that goes back over a century. And let's not forget, you can always modify it to look just like the blaster that the lovable scoundrel from Star Wars carried. For Airgun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, please shoot safe and have fun. Please remember, folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious harm if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at another person. Parents, if you teach your children to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment.